Welcome to What America's Thinking for Monday, January 20th, and happy Martin Luther King Jr. Day. I'm Jamal Simmons. At last Tuesday's debate in Iowa, growing rifts within the Democratic field were clear. We're getting close to voting, and campaigns are willing to get a little tougher with each other. These candidates will only butt heads more and more. From disagreements on health care strategy to the conflict between Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren on whether a woman could win the White House or not, candidates were eager to distinguish themselves from one another. Democrats know they need a strong candidate in 2020 to challenge Donald Trump, but they don't seem yet to agree on who that candidate should be. There are fights to win over left-leaning voters and a contest for more centrist, moderate Democrats. But some voters prioritizing their chosen candidates seem willing to cancel the other option if their guy doesn't win. Following Tuesday night's debate, Bernie Sanders supporters started the hashtag Never Warren, which trended on Twitter. Could division in the party lead voters to abandon the Democratic Party candidate and either vote for Trump or for a third party candidate in order to send a message? Will some voters choose to stay home? as some Senator Sanders voters did in 2016, after Clinton received the nomination. We were interested in how voters actually choose their candidate. Does party matter in the long term? So we asked, which comes closer to describing the way you vote for candidates on your ballot? Do you vote straight ticket, all the same party, regardless of the candidate? Or do you usually vote for the candidate regardless of party? Overall, about a third of respondents, 33 percent, said they vote straight ticket regardless of candidate. The other 67 percent vote for the candidate regardless of their party. Republicans and Democrats were equally split on the question. In both parties, 41 percent said they vote straight ticket, all the same party, regardless of the candidate. And 59 percent said they instead vote for the candidate regardless of the party. For independents, just 15 percent said they vote a straight ticket for a single party, while 85 percent said they vote for the candidate regardless of their party. While people said they vote for the candidate and are willing to consider people of both parties, the election data shows that might just be in our heads. Increasingly, voters tend to vote straight party ticket lines. Both The Washington Post in 2016 and 538 in 2018 document straight line party voters are in the majority, and they are increasing in each election. And there are fewer and fewer truly independent swing voters out there, too. Is that a trend that's permanent? Or will the partisan fever break? What do you think? Let us know in the comments. Is there something the Hill Harris X poll isn't covering, but you think we ought to be taking a look at? Let us know in the comments or tweet us at Hill TV Live using the hashtag WhatWAT. Thanks for watching What America's Thinking. As always, you can catch more great content from Hill TV by subscribing to the Hill's YouTube channel. Just click the bell so you know when new videos get posted. And head to thehill.com for all the latest political news. You can also find me at Jamal Simmons on Twitter and at Real Jamal Simmons on Facebook and Instagram. See you next time.